In today's video, we're gonna make my G80 M3 sound like a real M car. <laughs> Hey, this is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. In today's video, we are going to show you step-by-step -step how to install a Daler exhaust on your G80 M3 or your G82 M4. Now, with our G80 M3 build, we want to make sure that we have the best of the best parts on. We want the best quality, the best sound, the best performance, the best everything, which is why we went with the best. We went with Daler out of Switzerland. They actually have these exhausts handmade in Germany. Something that's really cool about these, they are EPA compliant. They're not going to delete any catalytic converters. You're going to get no check engine lights and they even come with a TUV approval, which is a very, very strict regulation that they have over in Europe. So whether you are in the United States or you're in Europe, you are EPA and TUV compliant, so you have no worries there. And it looks great and it sounds amazing, so let's get this install party started. All right, let's cover what's on the table and then we will get started with the install. So first off, we have four tips, as you'd expect. They come in this nice matte black. They're going to look amazing on the car and even better when I get a carbon fiber diffuser on this thing. Next, it comes with an H-pipe. As you can imagine, you do have to make two small cuts, which we are going to show you how to do that. It's an easy process, don't sweat it. Next, over here, we have the rear section of the exhaust, which is where the muffler is housed. You will notice that it is a valved system, so you're going to have rowdy mode and also neighbor-friendly mode, which is something that I always appreciate. And then over here, we just have some hose clamps, some wire extenders, and a couple other odds and ends. So without further ado, let's get the car in the air and get started with the install. Now for this process, you are going to need to get the car up in the air. If you're doing it at home, you're most likely going to use a jack and jack stands or some ramps. You do not need a lift, but it makes us videoing a lot easier for you. So with that, let's put the car up in the air. All right, before we start taking the exhaust off, we figure, hey, let's take a look at it. So as you can see in the back, we have the quad tips. Um, this is a BMW M3 xDrive competition, if you were curious. Um, so if your exhaust setup looks a little bit different, sometimes BMW puts different exhausts on. I'm not really sure for the G80 yet because well, this is the only one I've been under. Um, so if you follow it along, looks like we have a resonator over here. This is going to get deleted and we're going to have an H pipe that goes in, which is gonna make it sound really cool. Um, our cut point is going to be roughly under this brace, so that's gonna to have to get removed. There's another resonator over here. And then if you follow the pipes up, you can see that there's a catalytic converter there. Again, we are leaving that in place. This is an EPA compliant system. And then what's really unique about this car is with the F80, everyone complained about the exhaust sound and one of the big mods to do was equal length exhaust. Well, it looks like BMW listened because instead of just taking the exhaust straight back this way like they normally do, they actually took it across the side which is pretty much making it an equal length exhaust to really help that sound. So um, really cool that BMW did that. So as an overview, first thing we're going to do, we're gonna remove the support brace, and then we're going to pre-assemble the H-pipe onto the rest of the exhaust, and we're gonna hang it up here. We're gonna see where we have to cut. I'm gonna show you how to make two simple cuts. Then we're going to drop the exhaust down, switch over the exhaust flap actuators, install it, and then we're gonna see how it sounds. All right, so first thing to do, get a 13 mil and you're going to remove the three outer bolts over here and then the three outer bolts over here. When you go to reinstall them, I did a little test um, because there's not published specs on this whole car yet. It looks like they're torqued down to about 22 Newton meters just for reference, so it's, it's not very much. and just set this out of the way. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we are going to put the H-pipe on before we actually line it up so I can show you where you need to cut. Um, if you take a look over here, you're going to see that the exhaust does have Daler's logo on it, and then it also has the TUV approval. This is going to be the bottom. Same with the actual H-pipe. It has this little stamp right here with the TUV approval. This is going to be on the bottom, so make sure that you have that the correct way. Then what you're gonna do you're gonna slide this coupler over here like that. And I like to make sure that 
these bolts right there are in the middle. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just line it up, slide that on like that. Then I'll take the other side, slide this over just like that. And then if you can see the line right there of where the exhaust pipes meet, you wanna try to get that to the middle of the coupler. And then you can hit it with a 15. All right, next what we need to do is we need to hang the exhaust to see exactly where we need to cut. Um, the best way that we have found to do this is to hang zip ties. We have these large zip ties that we use here um, for things like this. And basically what I'm going to do with Zach is we are going to get the new exhaust hangers and we're going to place them in these and then I'll raise the exhaust up. That way we can have this one in place and we can have the new one and then we'll be able to see exactly where we need to cut. So what I'm doing is over each of these exhaust hanger locations, I'm hanging these giant zip ties and then we'll be able to position everything and make sure that we get a precision cut. Okay, ready? This way and then walk it up. Okay, just all right, so now that everything is in place, I want to explain this a little bit more, what's going to happen. So we are going to have to cut this. Again, I'll show you how to do it. And we need to cut this one. Um, as far as marking for the cuts, you're going to mark while you're on this side. I'll mark this side for you. Um, this pipe is going to slide into here. Remember, it's always better to cut on the longer side. You don't want to cut it too short because you can't go back. So I'm going to cut it right about there. So that'll put it to, you know, roughly there or so, which is plenty of space. And then on the other side, this side actually has a coupler that's going to slide on it. So you can just take this side, pretty much just mark it where the pipe ends. Okay. And then at this point, we're done with this hanging so we can pull it off these hangers. And we're gonna put this back on the table. Um, one thing that we are going to do, this is gonna take place in about three minutes here. We are going to put the tips on before we actually hang it because they're a little bit difficult to get to. You can do it after the fact. Um, and they're probably going to need some adjusting, but it's gonna make it a little bit easier if we can get it to work out. So let's put this down and I will show you exactly where I marked it. Now I will give you some rough measurements, but measure on your car because if there's any little difference, you wanna make sure that you get it perfect or just take it to a shop and have them do it. All right, so just to give you a rough measure with my yardstick because well, it's a German exhaust, so we're gonna give you a German measurement. It's like 18 and a half, you know, 18 and a quarter centimeters um, from the outside of this to there. Again, do your own measurement, make sure that everything lines up correctly. And then on this side, it's 18, 18 and a quarter, really on both sides. This side goes from this resonator, and then I measured from this side over here. Now, typically when we are doing an exhaust and we have to make a cut, um, we typically use a Sawzall and a carbide blade and it cuts through like butter. However, most of you are not gonna feel comfortable taking a Sawzall to your very expensive car. Um, so what we would recommend in that case is using a little Amazon exhaust cutter. We're gonna link it for you down below. Basically, the way this works is it has all these little cutting rings. You loop it over the exhaust, then you loop one of the channels in like that, and then you just keep going back and forth as you tighten it and then it cuts it. Um, takes a little bit longer than if you're using a Sawzall, but it's very clean, makes a very nice cut, and it's very easy to do. And if you're under your car on jack and jack stands, it's something you'll probably feel pretty comfortable with. So um, in order to do that, we do need a little bit more clearance. We are going to hit the heat shield if we don't lower the exhaust hair. So if you wanna take a 13 mil, what you wanna do is just go over to the nuts that hold on your exhaust hangers and you wanna loosen them, but don't fully remove them. And then what this is gonna do is it's gonna give us just enough space where we can sneak in there and get that cut. And I'm also going to loosen that one a little bit like that. And then that should give us the clearance we need. So then 
I'll start with the driver's side one. Take this little tab, throw it over. And as you can see, I have plenty of space without hitting a heat shield. And you get it to the, the closest one you can get, which for me is this one right there. Line it up on your line and then just keep twisting back and forth. And then just very slowly, you can increase the pressure. Um, you don't have to give it a death grip. You wanna make sure that the blades are able to do their job and to cut. And uh, so it's pretty minimal effort, it just takes a little while. Okay, and then you're gonna to start to hear it crack through, which is starting to do now. Okay. Then you can pull that down and it's still pretty connected because we still have another pipe here. But if you take a look from this angle and look up this way, you can see how clean of a cut that is. All right, so as you can see, this is completely separated now. There's not filings everywhere and uh, it works pretty good. But don't expect to get too much life out of one of these. After three or four cuts, it's pretty much shot. So it is uh, what we classify as a disposable tool. Now that you've done that, you can disconnect your exhaust flap actuators. So there's one on that side and there's one over here. Just press this little tab and then that's going to release the clip and then it just slides off. Now what we're going to do, I am going to pull off this 13 mil here and then I'm gonna take the other one off and then um, I'm going to support the rear section of the exhaust while Zach supports that section. We're gonna pull out these 13s and then we're gonna carefully put this to the ground. Ready? All right, let's match it. Here, you go the other way. All right, so as you can see, we have this massive muffler down. Look how big this thing is. It's legitimately, I would say three times the size, if not four, of our new Daler muffler. So that's gonna tell you something about how good that is gonna sound. So what we're gonna do now, we're going to switch over our actuators for the exhaust. So just take a 10 mil. And just take this off. Now it is a little bit spring loaded. Pull that off straight like that. And then let's take these three 10 mils that we, we took off and we'll reinstall them on our exhaust. Then you're gonna take this little piece here. So I, I said it was spring loaded. That's because this whole little thing is spring loaded. Um, and you're going to take this. This is going to insert into that little groove. Okay, like so. And then just look in here to see how that, that piece of metal is and basically what you have to line it up to. And then that'll show you if you have it correct or not. So I need to spin mine like that. And then everything will line back up nice. You can tighten these up. Then we'll do that exact same thing on the other side. All right, once you've done that, we're going to use a removal tool for these hangers. Slide this over, pop this up, and then I'll reinstall this on our new Daler exhaust. Okay. Next thing we're gonna do, we're going to install the tips before Installing it now we are probably going to have to do some fine adjustment, but this way everything will be pretty much where it needs to be You'll notice that two of them have a smaller opening and two of them have a larger So when you look you'll see that the the middle ones that go through the muffler system They have the smaller section so you can slide those on there and then the two outer ones are the larger What I'm doing just for Initial reference. I kind of feel like they're gonna be sticking out too far, but again, we're gonna fine adjust them um, I am looking in this little gap and you can see that there's a little poop and I'm basically just going to the end of it and then I'm going to tighten those down and then maybe it'll look good or maybe we'll just have to readjust them anyway, but at least they should be close. And then these are a 13, really good quality. I love the way that 
this is all me. This, this is definitely not your typical Chinese tip. This is straight German engineering here. All right, so now what you wanna do is get your coupler ready. And I'm going to pre-install that over there. I'm gonna take my clamps and I'm gonna hang them down so the nut is facing this way. Okay, so then go ahead and lift up. Zach's gonna lift up. And I'm gonna line these up. All right, now can you push a little towards me? Mm -hmm. Hang on. All right, so then what we're gonna do, since that's pretty much in place, I'm gonna secure it with a 13. And then I'm gonna give Zach some relief here. Here you go. And once you get a couple of those lined up, you'll be able to let go completely. And we'll put those nuts on like that. All right, I guess I got too excited to get this exhaust on. Totally forgot to put one of these clamps over here. So if this happens see you, this is really for you. So you just take the nut off. <laughs> They're on the floor. <laughs> then there's a little washer and then there's this little uh, chunk of metal and then you can basically just pop it over make sure you get it the way that you want it so you don't do it twice <laughs> not mentioning any names and then just pop it through you put this little piece of metal on put the washer on and then this one see look at that saved so now what I'm going to do before I go down and do a final tighten of those, I want to make sure that we get all these exhaust hangers situated. I wanna make sure that everything is exactly where it needs to be so that there's no weird, sometimes if you tighten something prematurely, when you go to put everything else in place, it gets a little funky. So um, just tighten down all these 13s with the hangers. Next, I can rotate this out of the way. This is a 15 mil again. And then we can tighten all three of these clamps down. All right, now after looking at this a little bit further, um, I'm going to flip these two brackets. Um, the reason that I'm flipping these is because you have to keep in mind that you are going to have a plate that goes across the bottom and you don't want to hit that. The other thing is if you get too close to the heat shield, it's going to rattle and it's going to drive you nuts. So I'm just going to, as you saw, it takes just a couple seconds. I'm just gonna flip these two over. All right, perfect. So on things like this, I always rather take the two extra minutes to make sure that it's right and to make sure that I'm not gonna have to come under here again. Um, but as you can see, plenty of clearance over here, plenty of clearance over here. Sometimes you don't really know until it's up. Um, with this, it is kind of a two-person installation, so um, very happy with how it turned out. All right, now that that is buttoned up, we are pretty much golden. I just have to do a final adjustment on the tips because they're sticking out like an inch too far. Um, but as you'll notice, your cable for your actuator is nowhere near long enough, but don't worry because Daler includes these little extensions. You only clip on one way. So clip that on there, and then clip this on here snap it down and then I'm going to show you what to do with that in just a second and then we can do the other side then to keep this off of here let's pull this 10 mil tuck this in here and then that'll grab it so it's not going to rattle around anymore either I'll just apply a little bit of pressure Okay, and then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay. 
All right, last part of the process. We just need to reinstall our support brace here. I'm gonna torque them down to 22 Newton meters. And then we are done. We're ready for our first startup. So what we're going to do now is we are going to start it for the very first time now it's probably not going to be a true cold start because the car is pretty much pretty warm <laughs> uh, but anyway here we go So now that you've had the opportunity to both see and hear the Daler exhaust on my G80 M3, let me remind you of a couple things. So first off, this does have that TUV approval. So if you're in Europe, you have no worries because they went through the rigorous process to get it TUV approved. If you are in the United States, as we are, it is EPA compliant because it does not touch any catalytic converter. So you never have to worry about failing inspection, getting refereed or any of that. These are also handcrafted in Germany. It's not mass produced or robotic welded like half my BMW is. It is handcrafted, it is a piece of jewelry for your BMW. And last, it has incredible tone. They spend a lot of time, effort, and money making sure that it sounds really, really nice without being overbearing. If you're looking for just the loudest exhaust possible, it's not the exhaust for you. But if you are looking for a handcrafted masterpiece that is even refined down to the tones that it produces under full acceleration, this is totally the exhaust to go for. But anyway, once again, my name is Brian. Thank you so much for watching Keys Motorsports. If you are interested in Daler products, whether it's their wheels, their exhaust, their tuners, be sure to see the links down in the description. If you like today's video, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. Check us out at keysmotorsports.com. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next video.